Everyone, hold your hands up, and if I clear, you can move, okay? Good. You are clear. Go ahead. Let me see who else we have here. You are clear. You can go ahead. Okay, you are clear. You can go ahead. You good? And you're clear? Your other hand? Okay, you're good. You, you can go ahead and move this one. I just see your palm, please. Okay, you're clear, and you are clear. And clear. Hi, my name is Reed Janice. I'm the creative director of Mad Science Productions, and Mad Science has created a show called CSI Live, which is here at the Ontario Science Center um, almost every single day throughout the entire summer, four times a day. When kids come here, they can expect a really interesting interactive show where they can be CSI recruits and help us solve a crime. Our target age range is between uh, 8 years old and 13 years old, but it's a show for everyone. So if you're a CSI fan, young or old, come on out, and you can be a CSI recruit, uh, you can be uh, help us collect evidence, you maybe you'll even be a suspect. So come on out and check out the show, it's for all ages. No one dies, but there is a crime, and you have to help us solve it. Alright, go ahead, do the magnifying glass, see the little tiny piece right there? See that spot right there? Yeah. We may have a bit of a problem here. <laughs> hey John, we may have a suspect here. So we're here at the Ontario Science Centre and one of our featured uh, opportunities for our visitors this summer is a live theatrical production called CSI Live. It's uh, presented by Mad Science and it is based on the very popular CSI television series Anybody who's interested in forensic science or even people who like mysteries are going to really enjoy this production. Uh, we're very grateful for the support we received from Celebrate Ontario uh, at the Ontario Ministry of Tourism and Culture for helping us to bring CSI Live to the Ontario Science Centre. It's the first time we've done this kind of a live theatrical production and we're really looking forward to our visitors' response. We have a little tiny bit of trace evidence. As you can see. Let's see. All right, can you just go ahead and bag and tag that if you could? Bag and tag it? Ah, yeah. Then interview this individual if you could, please. She may be a suspect. That's the only bit of information we've found so far. It's great because CSI is one of the most popular television franchises in the world. So we get to leverage on that popularity and uh, we also get to use the um, incredible um, science knowledge that CSI gives us um, to uh, bring those scientific aspects to our show. So our show is definitely theatrical, it's, a, it's an amazing piece of entertainment, but it's, it's also educational. So whether you're a, a child or an adult, you're going to learn a lot from coming to watch our show. Is that tape? Don't touch that evidence about you. Follow me. This guy's got a And a bag and tag. Bag and tag. There we go. Oh, excuse me, don't destroy the evidence. I don't see any. John, we've got someone else here. Uh oh. So kids can learn all kinds of different things from our show. It's a forensic science based show, just like the television show CSI. So they're going to learn things about uh, collecting evidence. Of course, they're going to use the powers of observation. They're going to have to piece together the puzzle. Uh, like Every crime is a puzzle, so they're going to have to work hard to do that. We talk about trajectory. We talk about making a hypothesis. Um, we talk about lie detector tests, um, which are called polygraphs. Um, and we use lasers and hazers and all kinds of interesting forensic tools that they use on the show to help solve our crime. Every shoe print's different if it's had a little bit of wear to it, right? You learned that, right? How about your fingerprints? Are your fingerprints the same as anyone else in the world? Yes. How many fingerprints are there in the world? Three. There's only three different fingerprints in the entire world? Over 60 billion finger and thumb prints, right? Because over 6 billion people times 10. And everyone's different. This show's been touring around North America for the past three years, and we're very excited that the Ontario Science Center, um, they got the funding to bring us in, and we are in an amazing space here. It's a, it's a great theater, and we're going to be doing the show four times a day. All right, good. We're going to go ahead and take a look at this uh, shoe print here. Okay. Good. Okay, good. So, this print right here. Here we are. He's on Google. All right, so this is sent to me from headquarters. You're on Google. I am on Google because I had to go through Google. It's the appropriate search engine that our uh, our office uses. I have the same boot. You have the same boot? Where? On? Go ahead and turn around so I can see your uh, shoe print here. 
the same route too. Okay, you do have a circular pattern there, as you can see. It's the same as this one. But, uh, the but is there a second one? No. No. So, is this his shoe? And there's a check. And yeah, it's not his shoe. Definitely not his shoe. I have a whole Okay, that is definitely not it, but this is a very specific wear pattern here. So if he was ever a suspect in a crime, we would definitely be able to tell that these were the shoes that committed the crime. The uh, CSI Live will be shown four times a day. It is free with your general admission to the Science Center, but you can book your tickets in advance to make sure that you get one of the seats in the four showings every day. So. Uh, Come on down and learn all about crime scene investigation. All right, folks. I'm going to continue this investigation shortly, okay? Everyone stay here. No one go anywhere. You're all suspects.